Hello guys, welcome again to my channel. In case you're new, my name is Miss Firo and guys today we are going to do some meal prep and also we are going to do spice organization and lastly we are going to unbox. I hope you enjoy the video. I'll begin by clearing my sink area. These are some utensils that I washed at night because I always go to bed with my utensils clean. So I want to clear this part so that I can use the countertop and the sink area. This is the drawer where I store most of my spices and I'm just going to remove them because I've mixed everything from trash bags, cling film, everything is here. Some foils and all that, they're all here. So I'm just going to remove them with all the spices so that I can leave this drawer only for spices. This drawer is very stained and so I'm using a little bit of uh, liquid soap so that I can remove the tough stains and then I'll wipe it to dry it well. thinking about the way you keep my world from spinning i'm just thinking about your eye just don't know if i've been faking or pretending but i know i never felt so damn alive i don't know if i believe the information given that there is someone by your side coming back inside my body for a second there is no way that i'm never gonna try hello where you at where you been tell me everything about you go slow so i can write it down and become the perfect man for you what you like what you don't you should never be flying so This organizer right here I got from Kamukunji and I showed you last time so I just want to arrange some of my coffee sachets right here and also some seasoning cubes and see how this will turn out. Normally I used to put my seasoning cubes inside those two small glass things and that was beautiful but I want to see how this one too will turn out. Where you been? Tell me everything about you. Go slow, so I can write it down and become the perfect man for you. What you like, what you don't, you should never be flying so.
I'm now going to arrange my seasoning powders too and I have these bottles here. I already washed them. Yeah, these are the bottles that I always use but I just added some so that they can be enough for all my spices and seasoning powders. I really struggled looking for labels from Instagram and uh, the shops that I know but I didn't get the ones that I like. So guys, you can let me know if maybe you sell them or if you know someone that sells the labels. Yeah, the ones that I prefer are those ones which are already printed, not the ones that I have to write on. Those are the ones that I was getting in the shops, the ones that I have to write on and those ones I don't prefer them that much because my handwritings are not that good. So instead I decided to go with these stickers that I always use to label my food. Yeah, when I store my food in the fridge, I use these labels here which I got from Carrefour and you can get them there. They're very cheap. I couldn't wait for me to have the right stickers for me to arrange these spices. I really needed to do this so that I can make this part as functional as possible. So if you find them, kindly let me know. As you can see, I'm just trying to see which print or which shape goes well with uh, my bottles and i realized that somehow i love these round ones because they bring a polka dot ish theme there as you can see and these uh, stickers are also very cheap below 50 bob and i think that one is just fair to do trial and error yeah so that's what i'm going to do right now what you like what you don't you should never be flying so I'm going to label them right now and when you're using the same stickers as mine make sure you close the bottles first so that your writing can head towards the same direction after that I'll just fill my bottles and then pick the bottle top that has the name of the spice that I've filled and then just close them as I go where you at, where you been, tell me everything about you, go slow So I can write it down and become the perfect man for you What you like, what you don't, you should never be flying so I'm going to add my shakers too and also I'm going to put some spoons here that I'll be using for my spices. I think I'll soon remove those blue, small blue boxes because they don't look good there. I'll look for another alternative but for now let me just use them. I'm happy with how these are turned out and now I'm left with these other ones that I don't use that much. This one is a project that's ongoing, I'm waiting for some shelves and I'll show you that in my coming videos. Right now let's clear this part and begin our meal prep. I'm now going to prepare some kebabs for this coming week from Monday to Thursday's breakfast. Yeah, or probably from Monday to Friday. And that will be it. That's the only food that I'm making today since we are heading to this long holiday, the Easter holiday. So I'm not going to cook much. I'll cook during the holiday.
my minced meat is pre-cooked i wanted to use it for something else but then i ended up using it here and also i just added some onions the scallions or the green onions not because it's special but i just added it because i wanted lots and lots of onions And in case you need to know, I'm using bread here instead of breadcrumbs because I don't have breadcrumbs in the house, so don't be surprised. My kebabs are halfway done and right now I'm going to make some juice that I'm going to drink them with and before I continue with the kebabs let me just make this juice and take it into the fridge so that at least it can get a bit cold. I'm making passion juice and I'm going to mix this with some lemon and carrots. Also I'll add some sugar in it. I forgot to mention I added some drinking water too. Should I turn back hours ago? Hours ago. Out of our minds, I guess we're sleeping outside. It's still a good time, even in the cold. Get out the road, I told you. A car's coming, I stop you. You know I always got you. You know I always got you. Push it to the side, even if it means I die. I wouldn't hesitate about it. I'll close my bottles and then put them in the fridge at the back. That's the coldest part. Or also, you can put them in the freezer if you know you cannot consume them in the next like three or four days. There's a motel a mile down the road. 
I didn't cut all my kebabs because some of them, the ones that are left on this side, I'll put in the freezer and those ones I'll be cutting as I go. But these ones I set here for the first two, for the first three days. Yeah, some I'm also going to eat today. As I put these ones in the freezer, I'll let the ones that I've just coated now to cool a bit so that I can put them in different containers and put in the fridge. There they will stay and I'll be warming them as I go. Lastly guys, I received a package here and this one right here is a rice cooker. I already saw it before so I know what is in here. And let me just open it and show you guys what I got. I didn't buy this one myself and so I can't tell you where you can find this exact one but i think there are many yeah i saw another one exactly like this one at higher shop is it called higher or higher shop i'll just write it here yeah i saw it on advert and it was looking like this exactly yeah so you can buy that one maybe if you need it because this one was not bought anywhere close to where i am so I don't know how I can plug you guys on this, but you can always find it. There are so many. So as you can see guys, I can't tell the brand. The brand is not written in English and I'm not even seeing it anyway. So I just wanted to show you so that you can believe me. I wish I could tell you the brand but uh, it's not written here or if it's written, I think it's written in Chinese. The same as the blender right there, you always ask me a lot and I already told you that uh, I don't know, it's written in Chinese and all this thing came from the same person so i can't tell the brand yeah so thank you so much guys for watching love you all and see you in my next one